de o e awon ako le de o e koni le ma mo o mi o gbo awon ako le de o e koni le ma mo o aha awon ako le de o e koni le ma mo o a de o ye parepa a de o awon ama de o e awon ako le de o e koni le ma mo o se baba awon ako le de o e koni le ma mo o aha awon ako le de o e koni le ma mo o mi o gbo awon ako le de o e koni le ma mo o In the beginning, there was no music, and there were no drums, but there was sound. And in those days, people would gather to witness the rising sun, as the sun rose in the morning sky. They made sounds that also rose in crescendo to greet it. In time, they learned to cup their hands and to beat their mouths to give this sound rhythm, kind of like this. Let's try it, everyone. Come on. And when the sun came into full view, they would cease this wordless singing and this band only to meet again the next rising sun. This practice has gone on for time immemorial, and it continues to this very day. When people 
learn to keep animals to meet some of their needs, and use were found for the skins of the hides that we used to make drums. They were pegged to the ground, and then they were stretched to dry and to check on them. As the afternoon wore on, four men with long whips would take turns rhythmically beating them as they circled in counterclockwise direction. These were the forebearers of all musicians and all drummers who were called the Alawa. Can you say that word? Alawa. One day, one of the Alawa was on his way to the next village to visit his family. And as he traveled along the lonely footpath that joined town to town and village to village, he heard a voice that said, Alawa, wah, which meant skin be to come. The man turned around, but he didn't see anyone, so he walked on. Then the voice said, Alawa, patawa, skin be to come back. And so the man walked back and from a tree, a tree that strangely grew along the path, he heard a voice and he said, Alawo, I am the spirit of music. There's a hollow in the tree. That's where I live. Please cut it down so that I can escape and I promise I'll teach you how to make something that can be understood by all humankind. Now this was important then as it is today. So the man quickly took his machete and he cut the tree down and true to his word, according to legend, the spirit of music first appeared and taught the man how to make the very first musical instrument. As you might imagine, it was a drum. The spirit of music showed him how to cut the tree into segments about from his knee to his heel. It showed him how to further hollow out the section of tree how to attack some of the skin or hide, and then the spirit of music showed this man how to make sounds with this curious looking thing, especially those that imitated the human voice. But it told them, as we tell you here this afternoon, from now on, you must call yourself Onilu, which is the Yoruba word for drummer. And the spirit of music went further to say to the first drummer, who by the way, we call Baba Onilu, father of the drum. When you play your drum, think of your song, and I'll sing it for you. When people hear it, they'll come together as one. They'll learn new important things, and they'll be made better prepared to stand the test of time. So when Baba got back to the village, he played the drum for the first time. I can imagine it sounded a bit like this. And for the very first time, people danced, a joyous dance of unity, togetherness, and happiness. Ever since that day, it's been music led by the mighty African drum that's called upon to be a healing force for our entire world. This ends our drum sermon and begins our show. Can everyone please say, I share? Welcome to Drum Sermons, Folk Tales, Legends, Myths from the Far Corners of Africa. We are Orishi Rishi. Good afternoon. All right, can everyone please say, Ekason? Ekason means good afternoon in the African language called Yoruba. Can you say Yoruba? Yoruba is spoken in the African country called Nigeria. Remember that Africa is a very huge continent, 
and it has 54 countries in it. Among those 54 countries, Nigeria, my country, happens to be the largest because of population. One out of every five Africans lives in Nigeria. So that is the reason why it is the most populated country in Africa. And we speak so many languages there. Approximately 500 languages are spoken in Nigeria. 1,000 dialects, and English is our official language. So I'm going to teach you all how to say greetings in the three major languages that are most often used in Nigeria. And the languages are, please repeat after me. Everyone say Yoruba, Igbo, Hausa. Now in Yoruba, you are going to learn to say Ekaro. Ekaro means good morning. Now in Igbo, you are going to learn to say Inde Wenu. Inde Wenu. And that means how are you? The third language, Hausa, you are also going to learn to say Senu de Suwa. Senu de Suwa. That simply means welcome. So welcome to the show. Thank you all for coming. This is Mr. Don, and I'm his tutu. Together, we are called Orishi Rishi. Can everyone say that, please? Orishi Rishi. Orishi Rishi means different things. That's what we share. Thank you. Different things, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> different things from Africa and Ms. Tutu's country, Nigeria, like music, dance, stories, games. We always have fun the African way. And in closing, we'd like to share some of that fun with you by asking you to help us sing a song that says, may we all have peace and good health. May it be so, may it be so. Before we go into that, I'm going to share an African proverb with everyone. Please do everything I do and repeat after me. Everyone say peace, love, respect for everyone. The only time you look down on someone is when you are leaning over to pick them up. Bravo. Thank you. I'm sorry, Emma. The sounds in call and response. The Sutu makes a call. The rest of us respond. We're going to sing it through two times. After the second time, she just said, everybody dance. When she does that, we want everyone within the sound of our voices to get up and get their groove on. And trust me, you've never had fun unless you've been dancing with yeah. librarians. All right? Yeah, dancing librarians. Now, Here's the, way it the goes. song is called Funwa Alafia. Can everyone say that, please? Funwa Alafia. And no. your, I'm going to say that. So your response is going to be, Ashe, 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 Don't forget, on the second time, I'm going to say, everybody dance. Yes, then you get your groove on. Get up, you got to get up and get your groove on. Get your groove on, okay?